Hey guys, I'm back and today we will be t moving on to the boas. And today I'm going to talk to you about Aiden. He's right here. Let's get him out. This is Hayden. He's a Dumas ground boa. He's from Madagascar. He is about five pounds, five feet long, and he, for the most part, eats mammals. Um, an adaptation that helps him get his food is he will bury himself underground, and he has very good camouflage for that because of his skin. Looks like crumpled leaves. His tail will be right here, and then his head will be right where my finger is, and then he will wiggle his tail, and then a bird, rat, mice will see that. They'll come, bite on it, and then it'll, his head will ambush the, his prey. I'm gonna put him back, and I'm gonna go clean his cage. <sighs> Yes, very strong. So, okay. And then let's put him back. Yeah, so we don't want him to keep him in his cage over there because it'd be hard to clean with him in his cage. Good. Okay. So, he did shed and he left his cage a big mess. So, Get all that stuff to the trash can. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't come out in one big strip. Otherwise, it would have been way easier to clean. Uh, next, we're gonna go clean this stuff out there. So, with this brush, I'm gonna be cleaning the rock, the two rocks, and his water bowl. Takes a lot of work when you have big animals to work with. You gotta do this every once in a while. You don't wanna just leave it sitting in the cage. Now, we rinse it off. Okay, put that out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grab this rag over here and we are gonna wipe down the cage, scraping up all the poo and pee he leaves around. He's trying to. This is a dirty job for micro. What does it even mean anyway, Dan? Okay, let's go get the rocks and water bowl. This one first. Okay, now let's get two scoops of bedding. So I'm putting water in the water bowl so that it can be stay hydrated. Time to get to the fun part. In my backyard, we have a whole bath set up for him. It'll help he can get all those little pieces of shed off. So, let's head back. Okay, let's go. So, back here, right over there in that black tub is a bath, and we'll go put them in. They can, if they just got out of shed, they can get all that little, all those little pieces of shed off. That's exactly what Hayden needs to do. So he's in the bath and he wants to get out. Nope, you gotta stay in there. He needs, no, oh my goodness. Come on, Hayden. He does not, he's a very strong snake. So I kinda have to have a grip on him. He's kind of settling to the water. Although if I do let go, he may kind of go out like he did before. So I'm just gonna hold on his tail. 
Let's get him right here. Let's get him in the water. There are some pieces of shed by his head that I want to get off. So, if he stays still, I'm going to peel him off. Good. Get his head back in the water. I think that this is good. Although with snakes, you don't take too long to pass. But I think... He is good and he can get the rest of his shed off on his own. So let's go put him back. Now the most trickiest part with the snake to dry them off is their head. They don't want you getting close to their head. So it's going to be tricky, but we'll get it. Come on, Hayden. Work with me here. Oh, he just pooed everywhere. That's usually what they do when they take a bath. Oh man, oh Hayden, seriously man, seriously, gosh, this is going to get some likes, Hayden, you, what a snake, well, see you guys next episode, Ugh.